we're going to be breaking down five viral music video effects that you guys can use on your edits inside of Premiere Pro. Without further ado, let's hop right into this thing. So we got this Yachty video here pulled up inside of the timeline. And this very first one that we're going to be covering is this slide in or cutout effect that I think is very useful. You could take this, you could mess with it in a bunch of creative ways and just use it as a base to overall create your own effects. So it's one that's super important to learn in my opinion. Now, before we hop into this video, I have to let you guys know about my brand new plugin coming out for Premiere Pro called Fast Effects. It allows you to instantly add hits, shakes, wipes, CRT transitions, thermal transitions, and a ton more effects inside of your timeline instantly in just a few clicks. Everything inside of this is fully customizable. I highly recommend going to the description below and joining the waitlist for the plugin. You guys will have early access to the plugin, exclusive discounts, the ability to possibly beta test, and you'll be entered into a free giveaway to get the plugin for free possibly. The waitlist is down below. I highly recommend you guys go join it. There's a bunch of benefits, but let's hop right back into the video. So to get started, we're gonna be using these two clips right here, and we're gonna be transitioning from this clip to this clip here, cutting out Yachty and having it come in before here. So to get started on that, we're gonna to move to the very first frame of our next clip right here, and we're gonna go ahead and click this camera button. Now, if you don't have the export frame button, go over here and click the plus button, and you're just gonna click and drag it down here until it's inside of here. Now go ahead and hit okay, and we're just gonna click a picture to export the frame. Now make sure you guys have import into project on as it's very important and go ahead and hit okay. Now you guys can see it instantly appears up here. We're gonna go ahead and drag it inside of our timeline and let's stretch it back a few frames onto the clip before. So as we can see, we have it inside of here. The next step is we're gonna go to the very first frame inside of here, click on it, and we're gonna go to effect controls. Now what we're gonna do next is we're gonna click on our free draw bezier inside of opacity here. And before we go ahead and draw, we're just gonna extend this so we see the most possible amount of the video we can see. And what we're gonna start doing now is just cutting out around Yachty, just clicking. For the sake of this video, I'm not really taking my time with this. I'm just kinda gonna go ahead and do it really fast. But I recommend you guys try and do as many points as possible and make it as perfect as possible. If you guys get an error of like clicking down here where you can't, just go and change the fit to something like 100% and you can click outside of here now. And then if you go back in the fit, you can then click right here to bring it back and then connect them just like that. And then we're gonna drag this back up so we can see more of our timeline down here. And you guys could see we have our clip cut out just like that. So pretty much what we wanna do next, you guys are gonna see, it's on there just a few seconds before, but it doesn't look the greatest. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go inside of effects now and we're gonna search transform and we're gonna drag and drop on transform right here. Now going back into effect controls, what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and unlink, use composition shutter, and turn this all the way to 360. Now we're gonna set a keyframe at the very beginning, and we're gonna go and drag it down. I just realized guys, if I go ahead and drag it down, it's like not attaching to the mask. So there's one thing we have to do before that. We're gonna delete this transform, and we're actually gonna nest this. We're gonna right click, hit nest, hit okay. And now we're gonna add our transform on this. So exact same thing, unclick this, set it to 360. And if we move it, you guys see we don't get the error there. So we're gonna go ahead and bring it down here, set our keyframes for position and scale, and we're gonna go to the end right here, and we're gonna reset it to bring it back up, and we're gonna drag this keyframe to the end. You guys see we get a slide in effect just like that. And if you guys want, you can move the keyframes to wherever you want. If you want it to come in quicker, we have it coming in from the bottom. Or if you guys wanna have it coming from the side, just go to the keyframes, reset them, and then move them to the side. And then if it's coming from the side, maybe we should give it a little bit more time. But if you mix this really fast with really fast cuts and you have it like go from one sliding in there, one sliding in here really fast, it looks super cool. I think that's super sick there, guys. All we could do next to make it a little bit better is going inside a project, right clicking, creating a new item, and then creating an adjustment layer. And I'm gonna call this one number two of the viral effects. You guys can use these to spice up effects like this. So we're gonna go inside and put our adjustment layer in between just like that. I like to have them around six frames. You can just count them out but with your arrow key. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now that we have that, we're gonna click directly in the middle of it, go inside of effects, and we're gonna go ahead and type up Lumetri color. And we're gonna drag and drop that on top of here. Now, inside of effect controls, we wanna open up a basic correction and scroll down to exposure here. We're gonna go to the very beginning of our clip and set a keyframe for exposure. And now we're gonna go to the very middle and set a keyframe again. But on the very middle keyframe, we're gonna turn it up something like five. And then we're gonna go to the very end as close as possible and then reset it to zero and then drag the keyframe to the end there. 
we get a nice flash effect that you guys can see there. And if you want it to be a lot more instant, you can just move these two keyframes closer to the middle. And if you want it to be brighter, obviously you can turn up the exposure. Super fire there. Um, what I recommend doing as well, if you want it to be like quicker and have curves to it, you can highlight the first keyframe here, right click and go on to ease out and then highlight the last one and click ease in. I know it makes zero sense, like the one that's at the beginning should be ease in and the one that's at the ending should be ease out, but it's the opposite for some reason. We get a lot quicker of a flash effect. And then as well, if you guys want to go ahead and add some contrast to this as well, totally up to you guys, or maybe like boost the highlights or something, but that's a flash effect. We're just going to hold option and drag up and turn the bottom one off. I'll show you guys how you can now create a flicker effect as well. So we're going to send these back to the beginning and we're just going to create the same ones, but just without easy ease and easy out. So now what we're going to do for this one is you guys can see it's at zero here and then we're going to turn it up to like six and then we're going to click this one and bring it to zero and then it's at six and then it's at zero and then we'll take the middle keyframe here which is six and paste it there so we get this flicker effect so if you have like the flash and then you compare like a flicker super fire effects that you guys can use a cool uh tip with the uh, flicker as well if you want to go ahead on the ones that are zero, like not the beginning ones, but the ones in between like here that are zero, it's actually cool if you go ahead and turn them into negative. So like we'll do negative three um, and be this one. It kind of like brings it down. We'll bring this one over here. Super fire guys. It's so easy just to use those simple effects and mix them into cooler ones like the slide in one mixed with the, the flash. Super simple guys. Let's move on to number three now. For number three, we're gonna have this super sick thermal effect, which is super easy to create. To get started, what we're gonna do is we're gonna search up tint inside of here and drag and drop that on our footage. And now we're gonna go and search up grain. We're gonna go ahead and add noise here. And now we're inside of effect controls. We can map the white to like a red color and we can map the black to like a, uh, a green color. And you guys can see we get this thermal look just like that. But if we go ahead and on the noise, we turn it up. You guys can see we get this cool noise look but a cool tip is if you actually drag the noise above the tent you get like an even cooler look almost if we go ahead and play with this you guys can see it messes with it super fire and you guys can change these colors to whatever you want mess with them to your own liking you go inside of lumetri color and then play around with the curves as well here and just set a bunch of different keys by clicking you can actually mess with this stuff all together like let's say we want to make those blacker there you can make that yellow We'll go into the reds now and we'll just set keys for the reds and honestly just like mess around with all this stuff guys it's super cool to mess around with you guys see how clean that is looks super sick only took a couple of seconds to do too and once you guys have that you could just copy and paste it on other stuff just by pressing command c going to like this clip here pressing uh, option command v and just making sure we have all the stuff selected and boom we have it on this one here as well super super sick guys all right guys so the very fourth effect here we're going to be covering this cool zoom in cut effect that you could do on your videos super quick obviously i didn't edit this music video so i'm going to be using clips from the music video to recreate it kind of in like our own way so i'm just going to go ahead here and take a bunch of clips from the music video as you guys can see i'm doing that right here and the trick for this is you want to make each clip like six frames so we're going to count out one two three four five six uh, let's do ten actually seven eight nine ten and now we can cut this and let's actually first remove all the audios from them on link. All right, let's put this one on top and we're just going to cut it to 10 frames. And you guys see, I'm just like cutting it just to make sure they're all 10 frames. Let's start moving these ones down here. Make that one 10 frames and then we'll make this one 10 frames. And now that they're all lined up, the secret to this guys is we're going to go ahead. So I'll play it through for you guys. These are like kind of similar clips. So I'm going to put this one towards the end here. And now we're going to go inside a project and we're going to grab that exact same adjustment layer that we used on the flashes and we're going to drag it in and cover it over the entire video and then cut a clip for each one here and on the very first one here we're going to go inside of effects and we're going to type up transform and we're going to drag and drop on distort transform now to make this super sick we're going to go ahead and go to the beginning keyframe scale and position and then turn off use composition shutter and then turn the shutter angle all the way up and now we're going to go as close to the end as possible and we're going to zoom in to like 300 and we'll drag this to the end here i made a mistake you don't actually don't want to duplicate them at the beginning we're going to delete all of them and just holding command and dragging, we're going to have all the zoom in effects on these. 
You guys can see it looks super sick, but it seems like the clips need to be faster. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and bring these all down. One, two, three, four. I was right with six frames at the beginning. So we're just gonna bring all those down just like before. And we're gonna go to the very end of our six frame clip, drag this over. And now we could just copy and paste these here. And I promise you guys, it's gonna look a lot sicker. Yeah, crazy. We get this really sick zoom in effect that's constant. Looks super cool. You guys can use this on your edits. Super versatile. Even if you took like the flickers or flashes and put them in between each one, for example, we'll bring this over here. Just put them in between just like this. You guys will see how sick that looks and how quick the flashes make a difference. All right, guys. And then last but not least on our five viral effects, we're going to be using a night vision effect. Funny enough, this actually has night vision on it. I did not mean to play that. What a, what a coincidence there, guys. Let's do it on this clip right here. We're going to click on it and then we're going to go inside of effects here and we're going to put on, um, we're going to put on tint. We're going to drag and drop that on there. And then we're going to put on grain again called noise. But then this time we're going to search something called mosaic. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and change the mosaic. You guys can see it looks super pixelated. Something like 300 by 300. You guys can see we get this cool old look. If you want to make it less intense, obviously just raise the numbers like 400. Now we're going to turn up the color noise here and you guys can see we get this cool camcorder slash night vision look. Um, but you can change it a little bit more if you map the white or the black to different colors. Let's say we map it to like a dark green. You guys can see we get that. Or if you map the white to like a uh, dark green color, you get something like this. Or you can make it like a brighter green color. You'll get something like this. Map this to like a, a white or map it to like a, a lighter gray. You guys can see we get a super cool look just like that. And if you pair that with overlays and other stuff, you can really combine it and make it look really cool. I'm going to go ahead and throw on a glow here as well. I have Sapphire Glow. I'm going to go ahead and put that on. We get a little bit more of a glow effect there. If you guys don't have Sapphire Glow, that's completely fine. You don't really need it. And then what you could do is close Sapphire Glow and uh, copy the noise and paste it above the glow as well. Very top. And uh, yeah, guys, those are my five viral effects. If you guys learned something from this video, make sure to hit subscribe and go join the waitlist as well for fast effects down below. If you guys are wondering what is this in the bottom left, it's my brand new plugin that's coming out for Premiere Pro. You can add hits, shakes, wipes, and a ton of transitions instantly in just one click in your timeline. If you guys are interested in that, the waitlist is down below, like I said. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.